Hey guys, it's Julia from Next Door Fangirl. This is so weird. Why am I talking here? So this is really uncomfortable because I'm in my dorm right now and one of my sweet mates is here and like I love all my sweet mates but it's so awkward to be filming with someone else and also the windows are open and I feel like people are watching me. Anyway, hey, how, how are y'all doing? It's been a while. Um, sorry about that. Uh, but this is my dorm room. This is my college bookshelf. Um, it's, we're a little packed in here because it's a dorm room so it's very small. But here I am like What's up guys? <laughs> How's it going? This needs to be brought down a little bit, sorry. So today I was just going to show you guys my college bookshelf so I can show you guys what books I brought to school and also a little bit of what I've gotten so far. Sorry again for not posting in so long and not filming a video in so long. Just like college guys, I'm in college now. That's weird as fuck to say. But, I mean, just so everyone knows, college is going great. Um, my roommates are all really sweet and awesome, and it's been it's been good. Definitely a bit of an adjustment, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty cool living on your own. This is the bookshelf. I'll, uh, if we pan up, we see what's up there, and then it goes down. So I like it, um, it's like, it's actually two bookshelves uh, that are stackable and they fold, which is really nice for like move out. I don't have to like disassemble, disassemble take apart um, like a big bookshelf. So let's just, let's just get started. Um, yeah. Okay, we're gonna get some cinematography in here. So this is the top shelf. Above it is ceiling and a vent and some string lights. Um, we have a very Stranger Things vibe going on in the suite. Uh, so up here we have Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, which I still haven't read, so don't tell me anything about it. Um, and then I got this collection of Harry Potters that I've wanted for a while that were the spine makes up Hogwarts and I had a coupon at Barnes Noble so I got that I actually got that in December uh, not December September there we have little bobblehead David Tennant because why not um we have this cool bookend that I got I actually got two of them um they're like the London land um sky whatever that's called skyline um so I think that looks really cool we have my Peter Pan book over there, which um, I still haven't finished. I need to need to do that. And then I brought uh, Outlander and Dragonfly in Amber because I need to read Dragonfly in Amber and I love Outlander, but I didn't want to bring my big one because it looks so good on my shelf back home. Moving down to the second shelf. Oh. Another book I got in September. I got the Hamilton. I'm so excited about um so that's there I have the Alexander Hamilton um biography that the show is based off of I have my Jacobites book because I'm a nerd Treasury of Irish and Fairy Folk Tales I got this book also it's um a history of Scotland because again I'm a nerd so it's Scotland the story of a nation by Magnus Magnuson uh then I have Vicious by V.E. Schwab which I need to read still <laughs> Archived by V.E. Schwab. Again, still need to read. I have the Darker Shade of Magic series, um, what's out so far, by V.E. Schwab, two of my favorite books. In there, I have Codename Verity by Elizabeth Ween, um, which is also, again, one of my favorite books. I read that this summer, and it's so good. I have Mythology by Edith Hamilton, which I also just got uh, in September, and I've been reading it. It's a really, really good book. I highly recommend it if you are interested in Greek mythology. We have Deadpool there, just keep in watch. We have Unbroken by Laura Hillenbrand, um, which I've been meaning to read, and The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, which I've also still not read. So that is book um, shelf two. So this shelf is like my my fantasy shelf, I guess, or my pretty hardcover fantasies um, and sci-fi, because we have right there Red Rising by Pierce Brown, um, which 
haven't read. I brought like a lot of books just that I want to read, um, that I was planning on reading soon or maybe thought I might want to read soon. Uh, so I haven't read a lot of them. I did bring some though that I have read. Um, we also have Truth Witch by Susan Dennard, Empire of Storms by Sarah J Maas, and Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Maas because I still haven't read Queen of Shadows. I'm behind on the series. I know. It's horrible. I need to do that. Um, then we have A Court of Mist and Fury, which I'm about halfway through. I was halfway through it when I moved in, and I haven't picked it up since, so I gotta get to that. We have A Court of Thrones and Roses, which I just wanted to bring because they look so good together and they're so pretty. Um, we have The Star Judged Queen, which I got up here at um, the Boston Teen Author Festival, which I will do be doing a video about um, with a haul and showing you all the signatures that I got there because it was really fun. Oh, Star Judged Queen by um, Roshani Chowski. Chow. Chow, 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 I don't know. Um, then we have The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye, Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Gemina comes out so soon and I still haven't finished Illuminae. I got like halfway through it last year around this time and I just didn't finish it. So I really need to do that because it was so good. Uh, I brought The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien because I still need to read that. And I brought City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. Um, that is the book that I'm up to in the Mortal Instruments series. I was gonna re try and read one of the Mortal Instruments books a month this year, but obviously that did not happen because I only read two of them. Uh, and then I brought Game of Thrones by George R.R. R. Martin. Okay, and here we have the last full shelf, um, which is a combination of some hardcovers and some of my paperbacks. So over here we have uh, Stephen King's memoir on writing, then we have Sylvia Plath's The Bell Jar, Time Traveler's White. Oh my god, lights just fell from the sky. Okay, gonna have to fix that. Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Niffinger. Niffinger? Uh, the Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown, which I actually read. Um, I really liked it, it was really good. A Despot Fortune by Susanna Kearsley, my next Susanna Kearsley read eventually. Catch 22 by Joseph Heller. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs, because I still haven't read it, but I need to because the movie is out. I need to read you. We have um, Pride and Prejudice, which I read. I finished reading when I got here, um, and it was really, really good. I had read it for the Ostentatious Book Club, run by Zoe from Run by Zoe. Uh, then we have Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. Still have to get on that series. The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. I'm so proud that I like remember these authors. And then we go uh, these next four books I got at um, the Boston Teen Author Festival. So we have A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallaro, um, A Criminal Magic, oh, there it is, by Lee Kelly, Vengeance Road by Aaron Bowman, and Bowman, and Starflight by Melissa Landers. And then we have um, Cinder by Marissa Myers, and Scorpio Races by Maggie Steve Otter. And then this final thing is just all, um, it's my yarn, my knitting stuff, and some books that I've gotten that I got at New York Comic Con, which I will be showing you in a different video. This is my desk, which is a mess right now, um, but there are just a few things over here that I want to show you. Uh, I recently acquired Fuck That, An Honest Meditation by Jason, Jason Headley, um, which is beautiful for um, relaxing. There is a YouTube video about it, um, like a narration of it, which I highly recommend. Um, obviously, some explicit language, but um, it's really funny. I just got, I got this like last week, and I just got yesterday, this little John Oliver got bobblehead, and we watched his show last night together, because I love John Oliver, and now he's staring at you through the camera. Over here I have some like reference books, so I have the Filmmaker's Handbook, uh, How to Be a Spy, I got this book on fairies that I want to read, um, Life in a Medieval City, Life in a Medieval Ca Castle. Just a notebook, and then uh, The Elements of Writing by um, E.B. White and uh, William Strzok. And on this I have again one of those cute London bookends. I'm obsessed with them. I think they're so adorable. And there's Groot just hanging out there. So that's, that's really it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Live long and prosper. Whew. I don't do that. Do